Hey YouTube, Shannon here with Jaden for McCann Professional Dog Trainers and today we wanted to make a video about prepping your dog for the veterinarian. Very important that your dog is comfortable when they go into the vets, that they can be examined well by the vets. A lot of times dogs will stress about the veterinarian so you want to set it up so that your dog understands completely how to be handled appropriately, how to be touched and prodded a little bit by the vet. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Now where we're going to start is by rewarding our dogs for us touching different body parts. Now initially with a young puppy, you might start with a piece of food right on their nose. And for example, the vets will want to touch your dog's ears, they'll want to examine, they might use they might use instruments right inside the ears. So you're going to get your dog used to that by first starting with food right on their nose and as they're nibbling, give a good rub of the ear, say yes and then release that treat. So right away it's a nice positive association for your dogs. Now you're going to fade out the food quickly but still use it as a reward. So what I might do is take my dog's ear, if he's nice and calm, rub it a little bit, then say yes, and then from there I can pull out my treat and reward my dog. So that's one body part that the vets will pay attention to. Others are eyes. So I want to make sure that I can spread my dog's eye a little bit. I can look inside. He's comfortable with that. Yes and then I can reward. Each body part, you're gonna start off nice and easy with the food right there on your dog's nose as you do your touching. We wanna to move to teeth. I wanna make sure that I can spread his uh, lips a little bit. I can open his mouth, have a look inside. Yes, good boy. Vets will definitely do that to get a good look at how your dog's mouth looks. Play with their feet. Make sure that you play with um, their belly a little bit. Vets will want to palpate their belly. You want to make sure that you can pull up their tail. You want them comfortable with the idea that they might get um, a thermometer used on them. They will um, have vaccinations done perhaps in their back area. So make sure that you can put a little bit of pressure there. Yes. And then reward them from there all sorts of things that you might think a vet might want to do with your dogs. If you plan to do a Bordetella vaccination and it happens to be an intranasal vaccination, make sure your dog is comfortable with holding still while you examine their nose and yes and reward that. So think about all the things that your veterinarian might do with your dogs and practice that ahead of time so that once your dog gets into the vet, it's old news and it's a piece of cake for them. Alrighty, that's all we're going to talk about today. If you have any questions, please give our office a call at one 681 7877 and we would be happy to help you address them. Bye for now.